What's up guys? In this video, we're going to break down a practice question about pulmonary function testing. Are you ready? Let's go! Before we get into the question, I just want to take a quick second to tell you about our Practice Questions Pro membership. How would you like to get new TMC practice questions like the ones in our videos sent to your inbox every single day? Well, the good news is now you can. Going through a new practice question every day may sound like a small thing, but over time, the knowledge that you'll gain will add up to huge results. So if you're interested in getting our premium practice questions delivered to your inbox on a daily basis, check out the link below at the top of the description. Now let's get into the practice question. You are assessing a patient with chronic asthma. She has a slow vital capacity of 3,500 milliliters and a forced vital capacity of 2,500 milliliters. Which of the following best explains this difference? A. Increased compliance during a forced expiration. B. Poor instruction by the previous respiratory therapist. C. Muscle fatigue during a forced expiration. D. Air trapping during a forced expiration. The correct answer is D. Air trapping during a forced expiration. The first thing that should stand out in the question is that the patient has asthma which is an obstructive disease, and we know that air trapping is a commonality in obstructive diseases. If a patient has a significant difference between their slow vital capacity and forced vital capacity, this also indicates that air is trapped in the lungs when the patient exhales forcefully. Because the airways are obstructed or constricted, as with bronchospasm and asthma, all of the air can be expelled if the patient exhales slowly, it just takes longer. This explains why the values are lower with the forced vital capacity as compared to the slow vital capacity. None of the other answer choices really make sense in this situation, so we know that the correct answer has to be D, air trapped during a forced expiration. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.